Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. In case you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel or my blog at chris.perillo.com, know that you could subscribe to my dreams. That's right, I, I sleep with an RSS pillow and I'm not afraid to admit it. I do love the view here in my master bedroom. As you can see outside, some trees, but at least at this point you really can't see the mountains in the background. And If I wanted to take a picture of what I see right now, I would take out my camera. And of course, I, I use the iPhone by and large to take most of my photos these days. And uh, hopefully this camera will focus in. Okay, so I can either, oh, I can focus on the details outside. There are the trees and the mountains, but as soon as I do that, then I lose all the details in the foreground. But I don't want that. I want, I want both. And the only way to really get both from the same vantage point is by using HDR, High Dynamic Range Photography. And if you're not already familiar with that acronym, you will soon become familiar with it as iOS 4 point one due out this week will support HDR right within the default application uh, for the camera in either the iPhone or soon the iPod Touch which at this point in time when I'm recording the video isn't available yet and what that will do is uh, well I'm going to demonstrate it using uh, two applications that I purchased over the weekend to run my own HDR tests. I've got to flip through the array of apps I have installed, tons of them. First, I'm going to show you True HDR. This available at go.tagjag.com slash True HDR. I have a few options here. Taking pictures from the camera, choosing pictures from the library, setting preferences, or going uh, through some instructions and tips. So first, what I'm going to do is take a couple pictures from the camera and it asks me right up front tap on a bright area okay and after I've tapped on that bright area what we're going to do is press the camera button okay camera so now it's going to ask me to tap on a dark area and press the camera button so now it's going to process both images and if I like what I see what it's going to do is it's going to merge these two images and you're saying to yourself, well, Chris, I, I could use or wait for uh, iOS 4.1 to drop if you haven't already started using it. The reason why you might want to use a dedicated app is they're likely going to handle HDR a little better than Apple is right out of the box. So it's aligning the images, combining the dynamic range, uh, not just taking the bright spots in one photo and combining it with the dark spots in the other and coming up with a single image out of the two that were taken optimizing for display and I can tell you this is I'm waiting for it to process uh, true HDR this application uh, took longer to process than uh, H or the pro HDR which I'm about to demonstrate for you so here is the resulting image right there on my screen and they did a fair job with it uh, I, I see all the uh, details in the foreground and I'm able to catch some of the details in the background just some not not too many but enough to enough that you can definitely tell there's something outside the window other than just white, which is par for the course here in the Seattle area during the, this time of year, which happens to be autumn. Either way, uh, this is the resulting image, which then I can save or send to somebody uh, by email, post it to Facebook or Twitter, which I'm not going to do. Now, you may not be able to tell the details here in the HDR image produced by True HDR, but I can tell you that the details are kind of lost. I mean, yes, it's a good image but the colors are really faded and despite having set up oh let's go ahead and save it oh I guess not I guess I'm not going to save it uh, when I go into preferences even if I have auto saving turned on and that saves the original pictures you can't auto save uh, the image that's produced automatically but I do have enhanced mode turned on so giving vivid colors it takes longer um, it doesn't actually produce any more vivid colors the, the photo t tends to be washed out in the end. So that is true HDR. Uh, now my pick at this point in time is Pro HDR. Again, $2. Go.tagjag.com slash Pro HDR. And in case you want to see these images for yourself, uh, I've actually got a corresponding blog post uh, with further demonstration uh, on uh, chris.perillo.com. I'm just going to go ahead and go auto HDR, but I could also go library HDR and take the photos that uh, were taken uh, from tr true HDR and process those. So let's tap the screen to start HDR. Keep your phone still. Analyzing. I'm trying to keep it as still as I can. Taking picture one of two. 
in two of two. So it's going to go ahead and process, and you will see that it should take a substantially uh, less amount of time to actually process it here in Pro HDR. One of the reasons why I, I happen to like the application a little more. But more than anything, why I like Pro HDR is it gives me all these sliders that I can adjust as I go. So I can adjust the brightness of the final photo, or I can get a full screen preview there. Uh, I also think that it does better with uh, contrast and saturation. Uh, oh, except when it crashes and I can't demonstrate the rest of it for you. So there you go, True HDR or Pro HDR, uh, a couple of HDR applications currently available. They seem to be the leading ones uh, in the iTunes App Store at this point in time. I'm just going to go ahead and go with uh, a darker image and a lighter image there. And uh, that darker image was taken by True HDR, and the second image, uh, I believe, also by True HDR. If not, we'll find out. We'll see if it crashes on me this time. There we go. It, not perfect, but we'll see if Apple's does any better. Their uh, idea of what HDR can and should be in the default camera application uh, in your iPhone or iPod Touch, and assumedly, at some point in the future, your iPad, if it comes with a camera, and I have every belief that it will at, at some point. So there you go, a couple of HDR apps. Uh, if you know of any other ones, uh, please let me know. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Uh, you can drop me a line anytime about any particular application uh, that you find useful on your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad for that matter. Uh, Geeks.perillo.com is where you're welcome to uh, posit your own thoughts, participate in the forums. LockerGnome.net is where you can ask questions and get answers, not just tech-related, anything that might be on your mind. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Perillo or Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. And, of course, uh, I've got a chat room where I'm typically talking tech, and even if I'm not, then people inside the chat room are. And that's part of a live video feed going out over the web uh, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.